The Republican field in the governor's race is growing once again. Former Indiana Secretary of Commerce Brad Chambers has launched his campaign today. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berkowitz gives us a look at his chances. This ends months of speculation as to whether or not Chambers would run. Now the question is whether he can break into an already crowded field. Chambers left the Indiana Economic Development Corporation earlier this month. He spent the past two years as Secretary of Commerce. To come in at this late in the game when there are already four people in the race would mean that the people that he's talking to, the donors that he's engaged with, have all been very supportive of his race. So I would say he has a lot of support within the Republican Party and also the business world. Chambers is the fifth high-profile Republican to enter the race. He joins fellow IEDC alum Eric Doden, Senator Mike Braun, Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch, and former Attorney General Curtis Hill. Yates says Chambers' background sets him apart from the rest of the field, even Doden. The business in which he has or has built up over time, specifically when it comes to housing, is a unique element when we're kind of in a housing crisis around the country right now. I think that it's going to bring some unique leadership perspectives to this race. Campaign contribution records show Chambers has donated to both Democratic and Republican causes in the past. Yates says that doesn't necessarily doom him in a primary. And it honestly could help him, to be honest, because if you think about it, having someone who understands both sides and can build common ground uh, with people who may have some uncommonalities could be beneficial for the entire state. Indiana Democratic Party Chair Mike Schmoll says, as Secretary of Commerce, Chambers did not address Indiana's poor standing for workers and wages. Wages grew significantly slower in Indiana than in the country as a whole over the past few years, and our state is one of the worst places to find a job in the entire country. Candidates won't be able to file the paperwork to appear on the primary ballot itself until January 10th. The primary is scheduled for May 7th. I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.